Hey guys, how are you today? I hope you're having the best day of your life. Today we are going to talk about kinetic energy. All right, we're going to show you the, the basic formula for kinetic energy and how it's going to be used in physics. So first off, kinetic energy is going to be a moving energy. So anytime an object has motion, it is going to have kinetic energy. And we, we call it Ke, all right, as the symbol with a unit of joules. Just like all energies, kinetic energy has a unit of joules. So that's the first thing you need to understand, that kinetic energy means an object is moving and it has a symbol of Ke and a unit of joules. When we look at its formula, Ke is given as one half mv squared. Okay, so it's going to be the mass of this object times the speed of this object squared. Now guys, I, I can't say it enough when working with these problems, guys. Do not forget about this squared here. All right, I see it so often. So let's look at a very basic example of how we can find kinetic energy. Say I have an object and it has a mass equal to two kilograms and it is moving to the right with a speed equal to five meters per second. Very, very simple guys. All we're gonna do to find the kinetic energy of this object is gonna be equal to one half mv squared. So we have Ke, we'll substitute in with units to get one half times two kilograms times five meters per second squared, not acceleration squared, but that whole thing squared right here. When we substitute in, we get one times 25, and we see that the kinetic energy on this object is 25 joules. That is the first basic way that we are going to solve for kinetic energy. The next thing that we are going to be responsible for doing here in physics is we are going to sometimes have to look at what the change in kinetic energy is. All right, that's going to be very, very important. So we might see that just written as change in kinetic energy. And we know just like any change, that's going to be the kinetic energy final minus the kinetic energy initial. So once again, let's take a box and we'll say this box has a mass equal to one kilogram and currently it is at rest. Okay, But then it speeds up to a final speed equal to two meters per second. Now, I want to know what was the change in kinetic energy. So that's going to be Ke final minus Ke initial. So we have one half mv squared initial, I mean final, pardon me, minus one half mv squared initial. So we start to substitute in now, one half, one kilogram, its final speed was two meters per second. I just realized I had a little error over here. That needs to be squared minus zero. And I made the zero because the initial velocity was zero meters per second. We love those. So now we can say 0.5 times four, the change was two joules. That was the change in kinetic energy. And the beautiful thing about this is this is also equal to the work done. Because work, we will now see, is equal to a change in energy as well as Fx cosine theta, okay? So now we see this delta E right here. So not only can I ask for what is the kinetic change in kinetic energy, but I can ask what was the work done to accelerate this object. So in this case, the work was equal to the change in kinetic energy. 
So those are going to be the two things that we are going to see. We need to figure out how to just simply solve for KE using one half mv squared. But more importantly, we're going to have to use this change in kinetic energy so that we can use it to find work done. All right. Now there's going to be a couple different energies that we're going to see for work. But right now, this is kinetic energy. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. Give the video a like, thumbs up, share it with your friends so they can learn about kinetic energy as well. Have a good one, guys.